Random rare, a random common. Here we go, pillow. It's eh, not, it's whatever. <laughs> we're, we're celebrating the small victories with Act 1? Oh, what, what does it come to? What does this come to? Piercing versus Dagger Throw. I like Dagger Throw early for the damage, but Piercing was pretty damn good. Hmm. Yeah, we here. Beautiful. Panacea. Firepot. I'm gonna take a firepot and go for a cheeky extra elite here. Maybe. I don't like buying I don't like buying potions per se, but they do help a lot. Alright, we're running out of strike cards though. That's Problematic. Oh, we should be fine. Basically, it's, it's really whole, depending on firepower here. That's that's the gist of it. My deck right now is actually pretty bad for this fight. Yeah, I mean, my deck's pretty bad for this fight. Like, really bad, but... We have a pillow, so if we need to rest, it's fine. I would like to avoid that. So basically, like, taking that fire pot ends up being... Eh. Let's see. Let's see if the worst of it's over. Yeah, I guess we'll do a rear pillow here. I mean, upgrading Dagger Spray would be nice. But at this point, I can't really do another Elite. Oh, cool. Okay, so for... For Kunai? Okay. For Kunai, I think... Hmm. Another Dagger Spray gives me a little bit more damage. I just don't like... Dagger Spray later on against, like, Thorny Boys and stuff. But I'm not opposed to, like, a second Dagger Spray here. Eh, I will. I'm gonna pass. Kunai is actually really damn good. Letter opener is not bad. I even like the fire pot here. You know what? I might go for a rest to do two cheeky elites potentially. Yeah, when you get funeral pain or like an emulate, two cheeky elites, baby. Ooh, Noxious Fumes. So, Caltrop is really getting into Hexa Ghost, but Noxious Fumes is... Damn. It's not bad, because I feel like we can get this out, right? And maybe get a Power Potion out as well. And then we're good. Double Noxious. Well, the plants is useful as well. The poison itself is going to carry the fight. I could just fully block and let the poison do its thing. Like, poison letter opener is all I need. Got him. Now what I'm going to do is the second elite now. He just goes an early dexterity pretty much. Lead is a nice way to get more kunai stuff. 
Pair is great. This fight's much easier now, because we have Noxious Fumes. And we got some Dexterity. Honestly, I'm gonna do this now. Get the poison scaling earlier, right? So by getting rid of all their artifacts, the poison gets on them a little bit quicker. It fights a little bit easier. And the Kunai scaling is great. Smoking it, baby. We need to know about that silent. Silent is very relic dependent. Always has been. I wish I've had coffee in a long time. Like straight up, just like regular coffee. Cloak and Dagger. A magic Cloak and Dagger upgraded with Kunai. Of course, Noxious Team is a very good upgrade as well. Like, so what is Extended really going to do for me in this fight versus like having the power scaling, you know, of Noxious Tombs? It was probably better to get the, the damage portion of Noxious Tombs out. Because I think the problem here is going to be my damage, not so much my block. I also just left a curse in my deck. The thing is, if I have enough block, I could probably stall. For that, the, the unupgraded Noxious Tombs can steal up, you know? It can work both ways. If I have enough dexterity, it's probably a guaranteed win. Yeah, they, they, they added some interface changes, yep. It's a little bit of things here and there. We're gonna come to see. If I don't get a weaken, then this might be problematic. Oh, we got it. Easy. And we got dexterity. Alright, so, yeah, I didn't upgrade the Noxious Fumes, but... The dexterity's making up for it. Well, it's not, we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, one little cheeky calipers, and we are... Mm, we're doing it. Yeah, they, they added a little like, change of icons and stuff. And they also released for the Switch. Got him. And that was without Noxious Fumes being upgraded. Okay, so after image is insane because we do have the Blade Dance and the Cloak and Dagger. We're going to be using Shivs for the Kunai, right? The only problem with that is like I feel like we already have so much block with the Smooth Stone and the Dexterity Scaling. The after image is just adding on to... A condition or a part of my deck that I don't really need help with, right? Like that just helps me with my consistent block. What it does help me with though is after image lets me scale with shifts against the heart down the line and not be worried about that. Um adrenaline's not bad and gas knife's pretty good for front loaded because we need front loaded in our deck right now. But I'm gonna take the after image and we're gonna solely focus now on I'm gonna solely focus now on making sure we get a nice offensive suite in our deck. Alright. So, I want to do the sparkle so I don't have to be forced to do it in Act 3, right? Now, I gotta make sure this path, the path is very crazy, and I'll make sure this, these elites are actually doable. And without Noxious Fumes upgraded, it's a little bit eh. But I'm gonna take this and see where we go. We can always pivot. Three dicks dirty, no problem. Believe it or not, clicking daggers is by itself is not gonna win you the game, but I mean obviously this defensive suite that we have going on is it's not bad. Crippling Cloud is pretty good. I like the AoE Poison and AoE Weaken. The Shets is actually a great way to do some damage because right now we have a lot of skills. The Shets will often get me a lot of damage. I gotta make a decision. I'm gonna do Crippling Cloud for now. I'm gonna buy a Relic. Oh, interesting. Got Norm so Normality is really bad. We need to remove Normality ASAP. 
So now there's just a flat amount, of, flat amount of HP I lose, but I don't... The thing about apparitions is interesting because I can just use apparitions, and then by the time they're done, I already have a lot of dexterity potentially. But I'm gonna refuse. Now I'm I'm a coward because I took this path because I was scared to go. I was scared to fight the sparkle with normality in my deck, and now I'm taking a worse path. Hmm. Like much worse path. I should have just stuck to it. I should have stuck to it. This path is much worse. Yeah, normality is just one of the worst cards, one of the worst curses to have in my deck right now. The pendant is a nice thing to upgrade my damage. Better is great for damage front loaded. I just need to make sure that okay. If we if we get hmm hmm hmm. I could have gone for another dexterity. I should probably wish I went for another dexterity, honestly. I should have went for a second dexterity there. But I'm going to use the peace pass to get rid of the curses from Curse Key. I think it's going to be quite nice. Stacked up. I'm gonna preserve into this great. Okay, another cloak of dagger is not bad. Dodger was also keeps our strength intact. I'm gonna go ahead and toke out the normality here. I could have went this path. Yeah, this path is kind of eh. Slagos so is not bad. That makes Noxious Seems upgrade is gonna be four poison a turn. Nightmare is a great card because Nightmare can add an element of like. Absurdity and scaling to our deck that we don't currently have So the targets for n the norm nightmare would be like cloak and dagger after image and noxious swings potentially But cloak and daggers by themselves with nightmare should be interesting But I think I like the snake sword just to have more scaling damage Because our defensive speed is pretty pretty nice It's it's weird because nightmare could also just break open the deck But the thing is I don't have all the plants, so it's not Gonna be super consistent. We'll do that. Hmm. That's a tough choice. Shame. Ori Kakum feels like an easy pass here. Because I already have decent block and also I have. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on it. We could do deadly poison for more poison. Poison type's interesting because it works with Snaggle Skull but also gives me more Kunai procs. I feel like I want to skip this one. I, I, I'll take the poison, it's fine. And Venom Slagos goes pretty nice. So the game got released a switch. Switch is a Nintendo console. Got him. Gotcha straight for getting rid of managing the curses. Huh. 
a shame. These curses are gonna be problematic. Like if I if I'm using the token to like remove curses all the time, I'm not really getting like so right now. A valuable upgrade would be an upgrade on the cloak and dagger. You know, so right now the sniper scope makes it so I don't need to upgrade Noxious Image right away, but I do want to upgrade it so I have enough damage on the automated. Got him. Is that Pepper Hands enabled? It should have Pepper Hands enabled. Didn't they remove a lot of weird emotes recently? Like Twitch was going like haywire on it. More weaken? Eh. Are we token the shame? Nah, I can I can see if we don't have it enabled. Hmm. I want to preserve my block here. I mean, I want to preserve my life. Weaken. There it is. We did it. Oh, uh, we did it. <sighs> but the thing is, I feel like I want to rest maybe for. I feel like I maybe want to rest for the boss coming up. I don't know. We have a lot of decent blocks, though. We'll probably get away without resting. We'll decide right now. Leg sweep? Damn. Yeah, I can probably get away without resting. If I don't rest, instead I upgrade the Noxious Fumes so that I can get four poison a turn, which really helps me make sure I have enough damage to kill him. Or we could do Cloak and Dagger so our Dexterity is out of control. I think we do Cloak and Dagger get our Dexterity out of control. I want to try getting rid of his artifacts, but I'm going to do Predator first. But I do want to get rid of his artifacts. It's like both my Cloak and Dagger Pluses, like what kind of animals are these? What kind of freaks of nature are these? What the hell? I want to make sure this guy is weakened for a very long time. And our dexterity is going to manage this final problem. Let me have poison scaling up the butt off the butt, right? Poison scaling up the wazoo. Should be GG. Except for a turn like this where I end up just having no block. You gotta be shitting me. Huh. <laughs> We're still fine, but it's like. Huh. Meh. Yo, Salami, welcome back. When's the new emotes? Hopefully, see the problem is I had to. I know I, I promised you emotes. The thing is I had to. Uh, I've been struggling with this damn landlord situation. So once I'm moved and like settling a new place and stuff like that, we should be getting everything back on track. I don't, I don't want I don't want to feel like you guys I don't want you guys to feel like I lied to you or whatever. It wasn't my intention. What's up, everyone? How you doing? Thanks, thanks, Earthworm. What's up, Earthworm? Ooh, okay, so Corpus Social is great. Uh, that's just a really good tool to manage 
certain AoE fights, you don't have a DECA, things like that, and it's just really good, just a really good card, but I'm also, you know, we're talking about Venom, Snyko Skull, right? Venom, Snyko Skull of Shivs. <laughs> For like the memes and for the YouTube channel, I was like, oh man, Invetum, Snickers Gold, we've seen, okay, you know, that's like Pog Champ. I think it's objectively worse. I think Invetum's objectively worse than Corpus Explosion. But. Content. All right, so we can no longer see their intentions. We can take Choker, Omega Lull. Take the Runic, Runic, Runic Pyramid. Done. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. Like, like, like. I, I think I like the Corpse Explosion more. But we'll do this content, and then we'll focus on making sure we get the wins. All right, let's go. Invent him. Got him. I mean, honestly, <laughs> that is a lot of poison scaling. I won't. I guess I won't lie about that. That's, hmm, that's spicy. That's spicy. You went from Ascension Four to beating Twenty this week, damn Earthworm! You just, did you like? Were you work operating in a gra gravity chamber or something? That's some great progress. Oh, I forgot I have Runic Pyramid. Nice. All right. There's no way Earthworm, you're trolling. So back for plus, the fact that I have Runic Pyramid, I mean I'll take it, it's, not, it's still pretty decent. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. I'm taking the gold, I'm going for the shop. Regret with um... Hmm. What's up, Kite? How you doing, buddy? Oopsies. Your attention through like four hours long. See, I can't have the luxury to do that. Whenever I have a really long run, I'm like, damn, I'm sorry, guys. I try to speed it up at the at the detriment, right? I speed it up at the detriment of playing worse. But I just, the last thing I want is two hour runs, you know? So here we have Finisher, which helps our damage quite a bit, especially with Pendib. And since we have Runic Pyramid, we can always make the Finisher... Like, we can manipulate when the Finisher is at his best, right? So Crypto Plus is obviously very good. It's 8 Poison plus 2 Weaken, you know, it's just really solid. But Finisher, I think, would be a really great acid trip to damage. Now, I was going to do the leg sweep thing, but... Hmm. Regret, regret is really hurting me. I took the regret because I wanted more gold from the shop. It's doing some damage. We do have regal pillows, so it's not the end of the world. I just won and came here because my wife didn't get it. She didn't get your excitement. <laughs> she, she, she should try playing it. She'll, she'll understand then. Everybody, I think everybody should try Slay Spire.
Let's try to get some um, pendant stacking. Cloak and Dagger Plus? Oh shit, I'll roll with it, it's fine. It's a membership card? Alright, so... In order for this to break even, um... There's also, you know what's funny? I think running through Decahedron would be interesting. It's very expensive, I don't want to waste money on it, so never mind. And Chaku, on the other hand, it seems like a decent energy relic. So I don't need footwork, let me explain why. Odd Stone, and we're getting one Dexterity with Ninja Scroll to begin with. And we're getting Dexterity up the wazoo. You know, footwork is actually just not necessary, but Unchaku seems good because we're playing a lot of shifts, and I think Unchaku is gonna. It's not limited to the fact that I need to be full HP, and we can probably manipulate it to be even more beneficial than Rudy's Decahedron. So, if I do membership card, I make Unchaku come down to 175. No, let's say it's. Let's say it's going to be like 165, 166, right? Roughly. So we can do membership card and new Chaku here. And I could remove uh, the regret, right? Even, even though I could toke it out as well. It might be better, honestly, to remove one of the strikes and then toke out the regret. Or, okay, let's toke out the regret for the fight, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. It's fine. That's fine. Oh, we should be. We, should remember, should we, have, we have preserved uh, insects. We're fine here. The dexterity here is fantastic. Took our record just like in real life. That's an Venom. The only problem with this in Venom is the timing of it, you know what I mean? So what I can do is try to... Mm, this might be a speed pot turn. Because also, if I do the Venom and the Finisher... Like, so we have like two Cloak and Dagger Pluses and a Finisher. So this is like a massive burst turn. If Venom is already out. But... Um, okay, I need to find a way to mitigate this. I think we ignore Venom for now. I'm sorry, Venom. Oh, the energy though, that's right. Damn. Let's talk about that damage. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's like almost too much, too good damage to, to pass up, in my opinion. But we don't need, we don't want to take damage, right? Fuck it, I'll just play it like that. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get those turns more often. Hmm. I want to play double block because I want to free up space in my hands. Hmm. This guy is non-stop, huh? I'm trying to free up space in my hand here. Alright. So Nunchaku is something I'm, I'm going to rely on a lot. Nice. Nunchaku is huge here. And we have a big finisher. Look at the finisher. Bam. Alright. We want to take like one damage or two damage that fight. Caliper. Oh, sh we got Caliper. Okay, GG, boys. Alright, guys. Phone at home. Uh, write your letter to your mother, your father. We got a nice day at camp, and man, it's been a good trip. Let me see something. I think I like Calculator Gamble. Because of the Runic Pyramid, we could sometimes... Hmm, I'll do it. We were going to toke the strike, right? A part of me also wants to upgrade the 
in Venom to make it easier to play, or maybe finish it for more damage. It's a lot of things I want to do. Blade Dance for more... Mm. I want to upgrade everything. Pelicism. <laughs> Oh, look at that. A nice little loon shock there. Creep space in my hand. It's in Venom. Let's go, baby. Only problem with this is like... Shit. It's a lot of damage. I didn't think that through. Um... Uh-oh. Now we should be fine, right? No problem. Easy peasy. All right, now we're fine. Four damage, not, not the worst. Shock you. I keep the weakening him. I get one more dexterity here, though. And honestly, I want to start getting. Your, I want to. Um, free up space in my hands. All right, GG. Got him. What's up, the great salty? How you doing, man? Oh, I want to see this turn. I want to see this finisher turn right here. The problem with this is that I, I'm one from under chakra here. Anyway, GG. See, I'm going to take this thing I'm gonna, and then I'm going to choke it out. Bullet time with Runic Pyramid. Do you think it's not bad? So there are times we want to free up our hand, that's just like a guaranteed free up of your hand, no? It seems... Seems pretty good. Since any puzzle, I want to toke out the injury. And yeah, there's a lot of couple... There's a few upgrades I still want to get, like I still want to upgrade... Like, calculate game board, I have that as a resource. Still want to upgrade maybe in Venom so it's easier to play, but... Since I have bullet time, in Venom is... And Venom doesn't need to be upgraded as much. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna Toke here. But I'm gonna go for two elites, so maybe I should recall. Here's what I could do. Not recall, I mean rest. Let's say I rest to, to, to the two elites. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run Toke. And then we're gonna recall. We're, we're not gonna rest at all. Although, um, hmm. On second thought. I don't know, maybe, maybe it was worth to um, to rest and then recall it before the boss. So I'm gonna have to rest at some point. The toke wasn't that important. Huh. Huh. Doing good, man. I have calipers, so I can take advantage of that. I should be taking advantage of that, rather. Calipers. I 
Ow. Let's get Penip stacked up here. Hmm. One fight hand is great. Liquid bronze. Hmm. Stone or steel? No. Backflip. Backflip is weird because we pull the time and stuff. I'll take one backflip. Alright. We're doing it. I should have played that earlier. That was my bad. I could have preserved life. I could have preserved life there. I forgot that I had the recall as well. Branch. Oh wait, I just realized that branch might actually mess me up, guys. That branch might mess me up. Fuck. So, I think I could do another leech, sure, but I want to go to the event because I want the event to perhaps heal me. You know? The that branch is going to be horrible because I have shivs and I have Rooney Pyramid. So I just I just lost, basically, because we have dead branch shivs and Rooney Pyramid. I, I literally just lost. And I need to get a heal. And we got duplicate. So double and venom would be interesting. How about we do double bullet time because we're gonna have a lot of dead branch crap to deal with. Case in point. Case in point. So I can make that free. I can make the Sucker Punch free here. Or the After Image. If I made the After Image free, I can play, keep playing crap, you know what I mean? But, um... We're gonna have a big finisher. That I can say that much. We're gonna have a very large finisher. Not that it matters that much, considering all the malleable. In Calipers, we might be able to change our fate here. I got bullet time free, which is really good, because now I can play like, things like backflip. It's interesting, you know? I think the Dead Branch adds an interesting element, although, you know, we really wanted to rest. And this is not quite a rest here. So we're gonna have to recall. With this much life. I should take the energy pot there, huh? So this is not the guy you want to see. When you have a deck like this.
Catalyst is not bad. I, need, I want an Venom to be played here. I need a perfect space in my hand here. Because I need to draw I need to draw more cards. I got the Venom out. I got after image out. I'm bad. Whoopsies. I'm bad. Nah, it's not rip. It's not gonna be rip. Hmm. So what point is Catalyst gonna be the best, right? So at around hmm. it needs to be more poison. I could preserve calipers by doing this now. Uh it's not a rip here. Finisher, huh? Oh, it might be a rip if I... Wait, it might have been a rip if I should have done piercing metal first. Why? Wow, I forgot about the... I didn't keep track of the counter. It might be a rip now. We're still fine, but like... I didn't keep track of the counter there. We need to block. No, I didn't. Got my lace. Next time we have, next time we have finisher with um, Phantasmal Killer. Huh, this is because I can actually maybe get lethal next turn if I Hmm, this is interesting. See the problem with this is that I want to like proc him now, but I don't want to lose finisher for next turn. I think I could take a risk though. Huh. We have 12 cards and we have finisher. Let's see if it's possible to do, um... I guess we just have Storm of Steel as well, right? Seen the setup for next turn. What I need for next fight is like just more stacking. Corpus Wilson should carry in this fight. Okay, don't like okay. One second. One second. Venom is not bad, but I need to make sure I don't die here. Hmm. Hmm. 
He's in Venom Shirts to get rid of his... Hmm. I need to get rid of their artifacts. Hmm. I want to get rid of. I want this guy to be weakened so I can preserve more uh, calipers here. And that's a good caliper turn, right? So we have a decent head start. We have some ray for him to fall back on. And I'm not. I'm not limited by like time meters clock thing. That's another form of weaken. But I think I want even better than that. Let's run double block here, I think. I might double piercing. No, I might just do one piercing wall, though. Hmm. I could always fall back and reform, right? I want to get rid of the weaken right now. Double piercing wheel feels like eh. It's a footwork. Alright, we're taking damage here. Let's say I I'm piercing well again. I preserve more life. Barely, actually. Cause I gotta play reform, huh? I think I like no block. Do we not have after image? I have after image sucks right now. Cause the thing is, we have like we have both times in our deck. I want to find bullet time. There it is. So I played after image after I had some dead branch stuff. That's a nightmare. It's a ray form again. Alright, so the, 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 I can do Nightmare Ray Form and just win the fight. That's it, it's over. Nightmare Ray Form is over. I can't lose. Nightmare Ray Form is over. It's over. I want to make, make Nightmare free. Easy. GG. Thousand cuts? Eh. Why not? Dodge and roll, a lot of block. All right, let's go, go. Let's go take it to the next level now. Tactician, sick. It's pretty sick, actually. We have so much kunai scaling per turn that like the reforms are not even that big of a deal. Finale. All right, so it was a little scary. I had to make sure I didn't get my ass kicked there, but let's get this. So let's tag up for the next uh, lead fight, right? Let's do some Nunchaku. All righty. Whew. All right, all right, all right. So what I want to do here at this campfire is I, I guess I wanted to... Toke. Let's toke a strike, maybe. No problem. Let me see. I guess I could rest because there's a decent amount of life we're missing. 
We could Toka Strike or we could upgrade. I guess Calculate Gamble so we have more of that. I'm not sure. The upgrades are actually kind of meh. The difference is actually not bad. I mean, okay, it does make the deck a little bit more consistent. Hmm. Maybe after image is something I, w I want to have first turn. So, like, upgrading after image is not bad. Because that helps my shivs a lot against the heart. I think this might be necessary. To make sure I have that out. And if I can, like... Well, the plans is... But my lady's not bad. My lady's not bad. And Lancer's not bad either. But what about Dolly's Mirror on after image? If I do Dolly's Mirror after image, basically we have... The ability to play all our ships without getting damaged, right? We get two block per ship, which means the heart is not punishing us. And that might be worth it. And we can do malaise as well. Because malaise could save me on those multi-hit turns if things get hairy. I also like kinda kinda like deflect. Sort of. It's between Removal and Lantern, it's between like Malay's Lantern. I think Dolly's Mirror and Aftermath makes the most sense. And we can remove or do a Malay's. Triple speed fight? Yeah, it's not bad. Let's go. Small little boys, huh? Small little boys here. So let's see something. I think I'm gonna focus on this guy for now. We have a Nightmare. Ooh. Ooh, I can Nightmare something. I can put setup on the nightmare. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. So if say we nightmare. Hmm. Let's say I nightmare. So clipping cloud, if I get that to be free with bullets I'm coming up, I can get rid of all the artifacts and give them weaken, right? So it's nice to have a lot of that if bullet time gets drawn. Nightmare on the dodge and roll. Gives us a lot of block. Nightmare malaise is interesting. Remember, Blade Dance is also a lot of scaling. It's zero until played. Yeah, so I can keep, I can hold on to it. But I want to make sure the next turn is a decent turn because we're about to get a lot of damage. Let's see something real quick. Nightmare Grand Finale. Lol. Nightmare Noxious. Hmm. I can make this hit Crippling Cloud for free, which is not bad. Hmm. I guess I can hold on to hold on to these cards. I can just do malaise for that, just like so get take more take less damage, basically. Have more calipers. Even though malaise is a powerful tool, coming up. Okay, so unfortunately, the well finisher might be a huge thing here. Finisher might be enough to kill a spider shield. I just don't think. Mm, I don't think I have the turn for it. Oh, that's it. That's GG, boys. Double and Venom? Jesus Christ. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is where I need bullet time ASAP. Kinda wanna play I maneuver next turn for next turn. I like that. I maneuver helps a lot. Alright, and we have Invenom. So this is interesting because we can do this, right? Invenom. Do a cheeky little like predator. And maybe get some card draw first. So both times a little bit better. We do more card draw. And now we do bullet time.
That guy's dead. Switch this way. GG. Now, I would like to get some healing, but it's not necessary. Burst. <laughs> Alright. Let's set up a Nunchaku. Attempt to at least. Let's see something here. Can only do so much damage here. It's already over. Alright. Oopsies. Bag of prep. Not I'll be honest. I'll be, not not really the uh Not really the uh relic I was hoping for. It's probably one of the worst relics I can get here, because I have an scroll. Anyways, what's the theme of this deck? This deck has Runic Pyramid and it's got Snackle Scroll, right? So those are the two main things so far to think about. And Snackle Scroll with Envenoms are scaling a lot of damage, but the main, actually, the more important thing is Kunai. It's Kunai scaling. It's got a lot of dexterity with Calipers. So Kunai, Calipers, insane. Then we have Big Bullet Time Turns to apply and get all the block. We have uh, Dead Branch, which is also operating with the two bullet times that we have and the two after images. We do Terra for more damage, although it's probably not necessary. Alright guys, I'm gonna make sure we don't lose this. Kinda wanna do double after image right away. We're, we're, gonna take, we're gonna take a hit here. Okay. Take another hit here. Let's begin. Get our scaling going. And Venom? Shit. And bullet time? Oh, I shit. GG, boys. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're gonna do as much dead branch stuff right now to make the bullet time pop off. What I can do is... I can do malaise right now just to get make sure he has a weekend for next turn. Because we're gonna get energy back with Sneaky Strike. And a thousand cuts. Let's go. I guess Relaxer Boy's gonna be the weekend anyways. So I could have saved the uh... It's a decent finisher right now. Not the greatest. But like we got a lot of dexterity, right? Three dexterity and we have 18 poison on him and he's at six to nine. So we did a lot of damage. And we have pen up stacked up. Alright. Let's get some more dexterity scaling. Catch ups, why not? Get this out of my deck. Okay, so far so good. Interesting. Distraction, I think I don't mind. Distraction into distraction. See, the thing is, it may not be a block. That's gonna suck if it's not. It's gonna suck if it's not. Take the risk. Eh. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Tough turn, actually. I mean, I'm trying to get a lot of poison scaling on him, but I need to make sure I have piercing will. He's gonna have artifacts, that's the problem. Oh, this is good. We're doing Shaku here. This is real good. This rate is going to be pen nipped here. So, yes, this rate is pen but I feel like it's more important that I have more calipers, right? Because I don't want to die. Do both, I forgot. Ah, GG.
Get rid of the artifacts so that piercing wall next turn is applicable. And then GG. I don't need to do piercing wall, but I will. Bang. All right, boys, we did it. So we gotta get that one out for the switch release. One hour run on the dot, quick, quicker than ever. And boy, was that a fun run. Boy, oh boy. Calipers, I mean, we did the Envenom with the Snaggle Scroll for the memes and it was actually you know, everything I wanted in a, in a deck. Nice.